Hey there everyone, it's Haas here and patch 3.1.0 has just dropped for Splatoon 3 and it has massive changes to the game, especially to PvP, but Simon Run still got a few major changes to it, so in this video I'll guide you through all the important changes that will noticeably affect everyone and even show you some examples. For additional Simon Run guides and resources, also feel free to check out the rest of the channel. What you need to know first is that not every single change that affects PvP applies to Simon Run from these patches, and sadly Nintendo does not state Salmon Run changes at all, which usually leaves us, the players, to do most of the groundwork and testing for these changes. The first and possibly most important change everyone wants to hear about is egg lag in Salmon Run. Egg lag used to be terrible as the egg lag pickup animations were fixed and locked and everyone had to wait for them to finish, even if you had massive latency between clients and hosts. From this patch on, this pickup animation can now be skipped depending on the lag for clients only, which lets us catch up to the host who will still have normal animations, resulting in close to the same egg pickup times. This is a massive change for Salmon Run and will greatly increase the experience, especially outside Japan, where higher latency is an everyday problem. The next significant update in 3.1 is the PvP change to Prep Tank, that introduces a massive delay of 20 frames before you can attack when switching back to attack mode from rolling. This change is fortunately not affecting Salmon Run, and our Crab Special is going to be the same as before, otherwise this change would have pretty much destroyed an already challenging to use special in Salmon Run. I believe the Crab Tank is actually considered one of the hardest specials to use for now. Next, the Big Swig also got a big buff to it in both game modes as the patch adjusted the damage falloff rate on vertical swings and you will deal more damage now at greater distances than before. Basically, your Big Swig jump attacks will deal much better damage at mid-range compared to before. This is also quite significant for Salmon Run and makes the Big Swig a very respectable weapon as this was a change it very much needed to compete with other, better options. Another weapon that received a noticeable buff is the Mini Splatling. From patch 3.1, the Mini Splatling will be firing 17% longer than before for the same charge and ink cost, so it's a clean improvement compared to before. As such, this also improves the weapon's overall DPS and especially its ink efficiency that it greatly struggled with, so it is a very welcome improvement for the weapon. The Splattershot Nova also received a buff, though it's minor compared to others, but still worth mentioning. The Nova will be painting under itself a lot faster and more consistently than before, along with a 10% movement speed buff while firing. You can see on the footage that the new Splattershot Nova is much better at mobility than before. A similar update went through for the Reflux 450 as well, where this weapon will be more precise at longer ranges if it's fully charged, which to put it into a more practical example, it will be a lot easier to split smaller targets like chums since your three arrows will be hitting a lot closer to your crosshair instead of potentially missing one of them. Along with this change, the Reflux will also move 20% faster while charging. The 10% in the post is a typo as reported by data miners. A somewhat more practical change to Salmon Run is the Inkjet gaining a big jumping boost. Before, Inkjet would have trouble jumping over obstacles or climbing higher areas. But after the patch, you will have no problem jumping over anything or to a higher zone, for example like on Marooner's Bay, to jump on the ship from the shore. The final weapon change where I've seen a minor difference is to the dualies, both Splat dualies and Dapple dualies. For the Dapple Dooleys, they have reduced the end lag of your rolls and you will be able to move 0.06 seconds sooner than before. Not a huge change overall, but more mobility and less end lag is always good in Salmon Run. And finally, the last change is to the Reef Slider. The Reef Slider got an explosion radius boost of around 17% at long range, along with a 21% increased ink splatter radius, as you can see on this footage. How much this will change, I'll need to do some more testing, but this is also a pretty welcome change to the Reef Slider. But those are all the changes to Salmon Run in patch 3.1.0 that we know of immediately and that you should know about. It's actually quite a good patch, the egg lag improvements alone make it a 10-10 patch that will help everyone have more fun and enjoyable shifts, but the weapon changes are also quite significant and helpful that I believe all of you will know this once you start playing. If you know any changes I missed, do let us know in the comment section, but if you have any questions about these changes, also let us know so we can answer and help. 
If you like this video, remember to share, like, and subscribe as it's greatly appreciated and helps a lot. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all the next time.